Yesterday we were together at the Evangelical Alliance of Kenya prayer meeting for peace for the coming elections. And I've known Kaiseri for a while. He's a good friend, and he was his exuberant self, jovial, and very, very energetic. Uh, so the, the, the news, uh, um, we received the news with a lot of sadness. Uh, our condolences uh, to, the, um, uh, to the family. And uh, uh, we pray that uh, God will give the family comfort. The late is said to have been complaining of some discomfort, even as early as during the uh, prayers at Uhuru Park. You were seated right next to him. Did you notice anything off about him? Not at all, not at all, Ansel. I mean, um, he was very energetic, uh, you know, but having been a general in the, in the army. He's always very, very energetic. And as I know, you know, he... He was, um, uh, he runs, um, uh, being a friend of mine, I know that he runs every morning, long, long distances, both him and his wife. All right, and of course, uh, you were both, of course, pictured speaking, the fact that you were seated right next to each other. Um, we believe those were the final moments that he spent in public. What was he saying to you, um, and what was going through his mind at the time? No, I mean, we were talking about the coming elections and the, uh, how the coming elections are going to be, uh, to be peaceful. There have been prayers uh, throughout the country, and more particularly yesterday's prayers, which was led by the Evangelical Alliance. And we even touched on the, the ladies' prayer meeting, which is going to, do, which is going to be today at uh, Uhuru Park. So it's sad and shocking news because uh, he looked very well, very energetic, very exuberant. And of course, uh, this was a man who um, started with uh, his political career in about 2007 from ODM and later was uh, picked by the president for the position of cabinet secretary. So you've known him since his ODM days. How would you describe him? What kind of person was he? I was um, very principled, uh, very passionate, very, very driven, uh, very energetic, uh, loved this country very much but love the Ma community very, very much as well. Uh, that is uh, Dr. Evan Skidder. And just before we let you go, Governor, this comes at a very sudden time, um, just 30 days to the election, a lot of apprehension by Kenyans of uh, what the next step will be. Uh, what, what, how do you think this will play out? Do you think there will be a vacuum constitutionally to fill this position? Uh, I guess, I mean, the, the, when you get such news, uh, the least of the worries is, uh, is, is, is uh, we, deal with the, we, we deal with the pain, we deal with the, the, the shock. Um, uh, I, I think running a government is, um, is a process, and uh, that will take its course. But I don't think that within the first um, day or the first two days of us losing uh, Kaiseri, the preoccupation should not be the, 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 what is going to happen. Of course, I mean, uh, the things will go on as they should and they will. All right. Now, as a governor of Nairobi, you have dealt with a lot of issues of security, even within the Nairobi County um, itself. How would you describe Nkaiseri's tenure in the security docket? Uh, I mean, you saw the difference between him and the gentleman who was uh, there before. He brought sanity. And I'll tell you, in Nairobi, the crime rate came down from what used to be reported 2,000 a month to about uh, 70 in a month. That was 70 per day to about two, three in a, two, three in a day. I worked very, very closely with him. He's a man who, who took decisions. He was practical. And um, he was uh, very, very fair and, uh, and uh, did what needed to be done in the most timely manner. And uh, uh, he never discriminated. Well, many thanks. That is uh, Dr. Ivan Skidero, who is the Nairobi County Governor. Dr. Ivan Skidero did spend the last moments uh, with uh, Joseph Nkaiseri at the Saba Saba Day prayers there. And of course, we have been following up on that sudden death at the Lee Funeral Home where the body of uh, Joseph Nkaiseri is lying. Leaders from across the political divide have come in to give their messages of condolence. Let's cross over there and listen in to more of the leaders. Ready?